first reported tonight at 6 o'clock, Marvin Lewis is replacing fired head coach Dick LeBeau. Then only Channel 12 brought you the official announcement live from Alabama just before 9 tonight. Now, a short time ago, the voice of the Bengals, 12 Sports Director Brad Johansson, spoke with Lewis. And, and he is a classy guy. Is, yeah. This is a guy that has presence from the moment you, you meet him, the moment you first start talking to him. The question now is, is Marvin magic? Can he turn it around? And I believe the candidates available, he is the best choice to do that because of what he brings to the table. He is a man of discipline, of principle, and a man that star players in this league want to play for. The 44-year-old leaves the Washington Redskins as the highest paid defensive coordinator in the game. His defense was fifth in the league. That's after he led the best defense in the NFL at Baltimore to the Super Bowl title in 2000. He's been passed over twice for a top job. I talked to him tonight about this opportunity of a lifetime. There are people in this city who want change. What kind of change will you bring to this team? Well, you know, uh, what I'm excited about is the opportunity for us to, to go forward with a, uh, a positive energy, um, the chance to, uh, to cultivate and coach our guys and, and demand a level of professionalism I think it takes to win in the NFL. Marvin, there are people who believe that there is no way you're going to get talented free agents to come to Cincinnati because of 12 years of losing, because of the reputation. Are you a guy that you believe by yourself can turn that around and bring people to Cincinnati and convince uh, them this is a winning place? I'm excited to get into that process. I'm very excited to get in that process. See, I interrupt you. I'm so excited about that. Um, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, places don't lose. People win and lose. And, and, and it's a new day now. I'm excited about this. This is what I've been preparing to do. He is prepared. Tonight, Lewis is talking with the Brown family about his staff. Look for Bob Bratkowski to stay on as offensive coordinator, but Lewis will likely bring on his own defensive staff. And Robin Kitt, some of the coaches that are left to go now will probably be added, at least in part, to a bigger scouting department that they are going to add to this because Marvin, Lewis, be Marvin Lewis believes that his coaches need to coach for the most part and he's going to have to add to that scouting staff that is the smallest in the NFL. That's a big point of contention. Yeah, he, he's, he's going to bring a, a lot of fire to this team and, and the players that we talk to that we'll talk a little bit later on in sports can't wait to play for this guy. Is he going to get the flexibility he needs to be able to do the things necessary? Watch for Mike Brown to step out of the spotlight and let this be Marvin's show. He's you going to say so. this is a new day. We'll wow. wait and see. I'll be right. But I, I think that's what you're going to see. Okay. All Thanks, Brad. Okay. Well, we found some long-suffering Bengals fans applauding the hire. But they're also wondering if anything will really change because Mike Brown is still in charge. 12 News reporter Frank Graff is live at Paul Brown Stadium with more Frank. Well, I'll tell you what, the one thing we heard loud and clear tonight was that Marvin Lewis's hiring should put a few more fans in the stands, at least for the first few games of the season. But the they also tell us for fans to stay fans, Things have got to turn around. Since even the most loyal of Bengals fans sometimes consider the NFL's losing his team a sinking ship, we thought the Travel Sports and Boat Show a good place to gauge reaction to Marvin Lewis's hiring. I think they need a new captain. So, sinking ship? No, you don't, if a ship's sinking, you don't change the crew or the coach, change the captain. The captain's the one that's running the ship. Still, some thought at least one change on the bridge might bring the ship around into calmer seas. Any change has to be a good change. There's just been too much of the same old thing going on. And yeah, I think, I, I think it will. I, I, we've got a lot of players that really want to get it done. And I think Marvin Lewis is a good change and uh, it's a better coach than you know the rest of the coaches they didn't have. Sides the two, they went to the Super Bowl, the coaches mm -hmm. that went to the Super Bowl with them. I get a lot of abuse for wearing this hat because of the Bengals but it's free, it's corduroy, it's warm. Walt Brader was the only person we found in the entire convention center wearing Bengals apparel. Even he's not convinced Lewis can bail out the Bengals ship, but he'll catch a game or two next season. Well, I think he's in a tough spot, and uh, he appears to be a really good person and a good coach, And uh, but uh, I, I wouldn't want to step into his spot, I don't think, because uh, it's just... Unless there's been some drastic changes made, it's uh, going to be awfully tough. It is going to be tough. The fans believe Marvin Lewis can't lose in this position. Think of it this way. If things don't turn around, everybody in the football world knows how woeful the Bengals situation is, so they won't blame Lewis. If he even gets him to 500, he'll be considered a genius. Fans say, though, they will be lost for good if things don't change. So at least for the, the Bengals fan base, this could be one of the most important seasons 
in the team's history. We're live at Paul Brown Stadium. Back to you. Okay. Thanks very much, Frank. Uh, so, do you think Marvin Lewis can turn the Bengals into a winning team? Call 12 in touch, 345-1212. It's a free call. We'll have up updated results at 11 o'clock. We'll have those final results tomorrow night. Talk to the Bengals' first African-American head coach earlier tonight from Alabama about the new Bengal era. What I'm excited about is the opportunity for us to, to go forward with a, uh, a positive energy, um, the chance to, uh, to cultivate and coach our guys and, and demand a level of professionalism I think it takes to win in the NFL. Uh, we need to be competitive in things and we, and we need to finish things on the field. We, gotta, we have to learn to practice as professionals. And I want to be uh, do this the right way. I want to make sure that I'm very thorough with the guys that are currently uh, on the Bengals staff, but yet I want to make sure that we fit guys to my personality and the direction that I want to go with our football team in both offense, defense, and special teams and go forward from there. Marvin Lewis is going to work his tail off to turn this team into a winner. And uh, in a year from now, two years from now, hopefully as quick as possible, we'll be standing here looking back on this conversation and, and having a few laughs about it. I'm looking forward to that. Players that have played under Lewis as a coordinator hate how he works them, but they love to play for him. And the Bengals players we talked to tonight can't wait to play for him. job is to come in here and to, and to lead this team. And I think um, um, from the leaders talking around the locker room last season, um, if they did make a move, his name always came up in the guys' conversations, uh, whether it being white or black players. And I think it's a good bridge as well, a good change-up um, for this football team that's needed, I think. Every guy on this team is going to welcome it, and I think the leaders on this team, we we got to be there and support him. He has a tunnel vision, and, and tunnel vision, and his tunnel vision is geared toward winning and being the best and being serious and being professional, and, you know, that's what we need. Yes, that's what they need. Our 12 in touch poll last tonight. Can Marvin Lewis turn the Bengals into a winning team? So far, 47% say yes, 53 no. You can vote all day tomorrow. Vote at 345-1212. Final results tomorrow night.